Sure. This way, right? you with something? That island in the lake. That is the Creator's Guild, isn't it? Yeah. Why ask? It might be the distance, but it looked a lot more populated when I was last there. That's because after your father's war, a lot of the Creator's mages left. They were afraid of being out in the open, so to speak. Why? The Creator's Guild didn't participate in the war, did it? Same as Everlight. Yeah, but that didn't stop the common folk and the refugees who came here from blaming them. There were even attacks on the Guild. Uh, well, not all the common folk, as you call it, took part in them. I know the Creator's mages haven't ever done anything foul. What happened during that attack was a bloody tragedy. The mayor saw that the people who did it were put on the gallows. I want to set over. How much will that cost? 25 gold. And no haggling. I want to cross the lake. Sure. Where to? Yes. Huh. Interesting. Huh? Help you with something? I'll be off. Sure. I understand.
Tahar, finally! Do you have the stone? I do. What now? How do we connect it to the Nexus? Well, I've done a little research on that, and it should be pretty straightforward. Give me the stone for a second, please. Sure. Thanks. Now, let's see. Whoa! This is... amazing. What the heck just happened? Was that the stone? Yeah. It seems like our plan worked. The stones are the power sources of the Nexus. Not sources, Tahar. They're simply the catalysts. As I said, the energy, all this magic, it comes from someplace else. Well, I definitely know why the Shapers were so powerful now. If they were able to harness that, I wouldn't want to be their enemy. Still, how does it help us find the source of the song? Isgrim, you said I could open Tahar's mind towards the Shaper telepathy, correct? Yeah, but it's not strong enough yet. Well, we knew that already. We need to find the second stone first. Let's head to Everlight and find that archaeologist. He's our best chance of finding that island. Got it. Yes? What is it? I need your help. What happened? Who are you? Rohija. Rohija Tanner. I have a small farm just behind the city walls, which I run with my husband. Thing is, he's sick. Stomach cramps and fever. Ever since he went to that bloody village. Anyhow, harvest is coming up soon, and I can't have my Georgie lying in bed all day. I'm not sure I'm who you should talk to. There must be a doctor in town. Oh, come on. Do you really trust these quacks? A friend of mine once went to one of them with a gash on her leg and came back with the leg missing. Can you believe that? Just cutting off people's limbs right and left like that? I'm not going to let them hurt my Georgie like that. Well, then, just wait it out. I don't see what else you could do. Well, that's where you come in. Holy Frank, the world-renowned traveling healer, was in town a week back. He gave me a secret recipe that works on all stomach ailments, and I'm the first person in the kingdom to be allowed to replicate this holy concoction. Ugh, of course, these so-called doctors have nothing comparable in their satchels. Now the problem is, I have my hands full with running the farm now that Georgie's ill, and I just don't have the time to look for the potion's ingredients myself. And you want us to find them for you, right? That's it. We'll make it worth your while. We have a lot of surplus vegetables and grains we'd be happy to share with you for your help. All right. I'll see what I can do. Could you give me a list of these ingredients you need? Oh, yes, of course. I've already put one together. Thank you, friend. I'm sure Tiara will reward you for your kindness. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to the farm. Georgie needs his cold wraps changed. All right. Where's your farm so I can find you when I've got the stuff? Just under the south wall. You can't miss it. Tiara's blessing, soldier. You're doing the right thing. That way. All right. Quite the character. A good deed a day keeps the dark ones away. Can't hurt to help someone every once in a while. Armors! 
shields. Everything from copper daggers to moon silver swords. Farewell. you or something? I want to cross the lake. Sure. Work. Understood. Intriguing. Interesting. As a neutral, a political association of mages solely devoted to the study of magic, the members of the Creator's Guild were among the few gifted that remained neutral during your father's war. Though not comparable to the great universities of Kalaya, it is safe to say that Fiara owes many of its magical and technological advancements to them. Here we are. Hmm. Impressive. And there's people down the hall. We should... Interesting. We do not get visitors often these times. Who are you? I'm Undergast. I suppose you could call me the head of the guild. I sensed someone was coming and that that someone had an intriguing aura. Now I know who it is. You are Isamo Tahara's child, are you not? How do you know? Well, I have studied Isamo Tahara's magic quite extensively, especially since the end of the Mage Wars. He was a remarkable man. Yours and his magical aura have a lot of similarities. Hmm. How are our auras similar? Well, hard to say. You can simply tell that you're related. And there's something else about you that is... well, strange. Either way, I assume you are here for a reason. How may we, the little that is left of us, help you? Actually, we're here for a reason. We're investigating the Bloodburn. Is there anything you or your guild knows about it? The Bloodburn? You're studying it? I guess you could say that, yes. Hmm, interesting. No, we do not know more about it than most alchemists or apothecaries at this point. Though our general consensus is that we doubt the corporeal origin of the plague. There is magic involved in it. Well, you're right about that. It is magical and it is connected to the Shapers. The Tsarlan that... That's interesting. Say, would you mind to tell me more? You seem to know a lot of variables which we are not aware of yet. I'll tell you, but we should find somewhere to sit. It's a long story. Of course. Well, this is both fascinating and peculiar. 
What do you make of it? Mm. I do not believe in visions and prophecy, unless they come from a dream weaver, so I'm uncertain. But there is no arguing that this man, Rondar Le Cain, knew more about the Bloodburn than most people. And his clues led you to Mullendir, which is nothing short of impressive. So you believe that the Bloodburn is caused by Shaper telepathy, is that correct? It is a theory, but yeah. Rogue telepathy, so to speak. I see. Hmm. I would like to come with you. What? I was clear, was I not? I would like to come with you. Your story is nothing short of fascinating. The Shaper City, the Bloodburn, and this Nexus. I would like to accompany you and help. I have a wide knowledge of the magic and the Shapers, and have a strong interest in finding a cure for the Bloodburn. Hmm. Well, why not? Just know that it will be dangerous. I can defend myself. Quite well, in fact. However, there is one thing I need to finish before I come with you. Uh, study. Maybe you could help. This would facilitate matters. As long as it doesn't take too much time, yes. What are you studying? Simple. I have always been fascinated by the notion of sentience and the mind in general. What creates consciousness? What is it that distinguishes us as humans from a wolf who is slave to his instincts? Quite recently, a group of refugees who arrived in Everlight told me of a bizarre sight. They said that a stone golem took over the abandoned mine near the gates and has grown a soul, and apparently has been trading with the villagers and even befriended one of them. It all seems highly unlikely, but I want to investigate it. What do you need my help with? Well, this is all an exciting scholarly prospect, but a golem is still a golem. So if the monster goes feral, I will require assistance. I can defend myself, but still it would be unwise to go there alone. I will get prepared and meet you at the mine. Do you know where it is? Tell me. Up north, at the top of the Iskander Mountain. I will go as soon as possible. Fair enough. I'll see you there. Let's see. Hmm. Odd fellow. But he's a capable mage, that's for sure. have a strange aura. Interesting. I'm looking for someone. An archaeologist named Albertus Watley. Watley? That man obsessed with his island? Yes. What do you know about him? Um, not much. Only that he showed up here some years ago asking for funding for his bizarre excavation. All the nobles who usually fund these kinds of things had rejected him. However, he didn't have any proof backing up his claims, other than him claiming to be of Hibernian ancestry, just like Queen Aelith. So we had to send him away as well, which didn't stop him from digging. If you and the nobles denied him the means to do an excavation, how did he dig? That's where it gets tragic. He spent his entire heritage. To no avail? Not entirely. He found what resembled a portal, but it was just dead, cold stone. It didn't take him anywhere. He tried to activate it for years, but ultimately his savings ran out. Now he lives in the mud district, begging for food. He literally gave it all for his dream, but failed. A sad story. Why do you ask, though? Because we're looking for that island. Oh? Well, um, then you should probably talk to Watley himself. If you can find him, that is. I have to continue my work now. Safe travels, friends. Sure. Interesting. Well then, off to the mud district. Let's hope Watley's still there. And still alive. Huh? Yeah, 
help you with something? I want to cross the lake. Sure. Where to? Greetings. Say, could you help me with something? I'm looking for a man called Ilbertus Watley. Ilbertus what? Never heard of him. Sorry. No problem. Tiara's blessing. Mm. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for someone named Ilbertus Watley. Ever heard of him? Watley? Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. I see. Thanks. Excuse me, madam. I'm wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for a man named Ilbertus Watley. He's supposed to live here. Watley? Oh, you mean that beggar? Ah, he lives here. <laughs> Does nothing but beg for coins at the marketplace all day long. What do you want from him? Long story. Much obliged. Got it. Lady, a coin, fair lady. Please, the old father will reward you for your generosity. Here, take this. Say, are you Sir Albertus Watley? Um, yes, I am. Who are you? How do you know my name? We're here because of the island in the Black Sea. That accursed island. Tiara's breath. And here I thought I was done with it for good. Let's not talk about it. Well, we know for a fact that it exists, and we want to find it. What? The island exists, and we have reason to believe there's something on it that we need. And we've been told that you tried to excavate an old Hibernian portal that could lead us there. Uh, forgive me, but this is a lot to take in. But that portal exists. Yes. Yes, it does. But it's useless. Just a piece of stone. Be that as it may, we need to find a way to get to that island. And building a ship isn't an option. Can you show us that portal? Haven't you listened? It doesn't work. We need to try. Can you take us there? <sighs> Fine. I can. But only under one condition. You need to pay me. Now, believe me, I, I, I wouldn't ask this if I had a choice, but leaving this place during the busiest hours of the day means I'll end up with an empty belly tonight. Just give me 30 gold. That should last me for a week. 
Take 60. Oh, that's oh, very generous of you. Thank you. Meet me at the excavation site, will you? I need to take care of something first. Okay, see you there. Yes? Poor man. Give it all up for your dream if you fail. Look at that, boys. Highwayman. Tiara's breath. He really killed them all. Just who exactly are you? A former soldier. So this is the portal? Yes. It definitely looks Hibernian. Did you reconstruct it? No, no. It, it, it was still intact when we found it. I, which is more than strange, but that's also where the mystery ended. We couldn't activate it, even with the portal stone. What's a portal stone? Something to activate them? Uh, yes, but as I said, it didn't help. I paid a fortune to buy it from a Calayan merchant, but I might as well have sung my incantations on a brick. Where is that stone now? Can I see it? <laughs> You're really stubborn, aren't you? <sighs> no, you can't. Because I threw it away. Why? Because it was useless. It was useless. Like all of this sodding, pointless horseshit I ruined my life for. <sighs> Forgive me. I... <sighs> I shouldn't have gotten so upset. This place, it just... <sighs> brings up memories. Where did you throw it away? Do you remember? Yes, I remember. There's a small shack near the old river watch in the southwest. That was the day I had finally realized that I had been chasing a ghost all along. You'll try to find it, won't you? I can see it. Please, I don't know who you are. But believe me, it's pointless. You're wasting your time. Let me be the judge of that. Will you wait here? If you insist. It's not as if I'm missing anything in that sodding city. Hmm?
Tell me, Tahar, what makes you think we can get that portal to work if he couldn't? Honest answer? I don't know. But there's no harm in trying. I suppose you're right. We'll make short work of them. There. I think that's the Shaq Watley was talking about. Look at that. Could this be the stone? Show me. Yes, that might be it. Though, hmm, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. This stone. Let me see. Watley, we found... By the... What? How is that possible? The portal. I think it reacted to me. But... This doesn't make sense. No, this... This is... This isn't happening. I need to see. Blazes, stop! Too late. We need to follow him. A little preparation wouldn't have hurt. Though some cart are still far from complete, the Black Sea in particular has always invited explorers and adventurers to fantasize. Situated north of Fiara, many ships have fallen victim to its stormy waters causing the number of expeditions to diminish. Tiara's breath. It worked. It felt just like traveling with a godstone. Only that this seems to have been a one-way road. The portal is closed. What about the portal stone? I don't know. It seems... empty. Activating that portal must have used up all its energy. Question is, where is Watley? And is it just my imagination, or is the sun a bit lower than when we step through? That's very possible. Time tends to get distorted for the user when using teleportation magic. Anyway, best we start searching for Watley. If he's on his own, he might be in danger. Agreed. Let's follow the path. He can't have gone far. Yes? Hard to believe we're suddenly thousands of miles from Everlight. But there is something unique to this island, isn't there? True. There are hardly any magical signatures around us. Whoever lived or lives here, they haven't been in contact with the outside world yet. We'll keep you shielded! Ah! 
Yash will suck. Now would you look at that? Bugger and blasted! What... who were these creatures? And what took you so long? We entered the portal just after you. The teleportation caused a distortion in time. Uh... oh, of course. The, uh, the writings mentioned that. Well, um, thanks for saving me. I, I'm sorry for being so mindless. These creatures, I... I thought they were gonna kill me. Who's our friend? I, uh... I don't know. He, he must be one of the locals. He, but he doesn't seem to understand our tongue. Thunday, I do. Uh, fine. Now I'm lost. So am I. How can you know our language? Because we are both Kalal. You come from the Forsaken Land, which our people left behind hundreds of generations ago. Though your way of speaking is... strange, be that as it may. I am not worthy of answering your questions. I will take you to our Yaris. She has predicted the arrival of outsiders, and it seems that her readings have become true. You will free us from Shar's snake spawn. All right. Then take me to your Yaras. Wait, uh, Yaris? Tonde. This sounds a lot like the Hibernian tongue, and um, are you... Hibernians? Not directly. But again, our Yaris is better fit to explain that. Now please follow me. Yakul! Ceres Jadul! Mekil! I thought the snake spawn got you! They almost did. These people saved me. They are from the Forsaken Land, Yakul. Just as she read from the stars. By the name of the sun. Outsiders. Are they... I mean, do they speak our tongue? We do. And I bet we have as many questions as you have. I... I see. Gallus Danwaji, Outsider. Thank you for saving this man. You have no idea what his death would have brought upon our village. I promise to take them to the Yaras. Can you let us in? I believe so. Take them to the Yar- It was an honor, outsider. Got it. Did he just say star readings? I understand. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Interesting. Anything on your mind? I see the outsiders have arrived. Yaras. Yes, they have. Just as you predicted. And they saved me from the snake's bone. Then you already have my gratitude, stranger. Mekil, you may leave. Of course. Well then. I'm Asha, Holy Yaris of the Ulias tribe. What's your name? I'm Tahar. That man, he said you foresaw our coming? I read the stars, yes. They told me that soon, a stranger would come. One seeking for something to end a curse put upon his land. The blubber. Don't tell me. Our tribe has left the Forsaken Land for a reason. And whatever is happening there, it does not concern us. All that matters is that the stars sent you to save us from Shar. And that we, should you succeed, give you the Kasarlanthep stone in return. All right. 
What do you need help with? Your Medusa problem, I assume? And this Char who's controlling them? Yes, but it's a bit more complicated. Char is my son. Where should I start? I have two sons, Dool and Char. According to the Hiberian traditions, it was set that Dool would succeed me as the next Yaris. As you can imagine, this was never easy. Char never accepted Dool as the legitimate firstborn. I think I can see where this is going. It's not that simple. You see, their father died when they were both very young, and that shaped their personalities in very different ways. Shaw was frail, sensitive, and emotional. He was always sick, had horrible nightmares, and often talked about these voices he heard. And Duel, your firstborn? He was the exact opposite. He was strong, always healthy and good with people, but hardly ever showed emotion. It was almost as if he was destined to succeed me. What was their relationship? Well, Duel was very distant toward Shar, and Shar hated Duel with a passion. The day things got truly complicated was when Shar discovered his magic. His talent was enormous. Let's cut to the chase. Where did the Medusa come from? Well, it all happened a month ago. One night, Shar and Duel were gone. The next morrow, our village was surrounded by snake spawn, rallied behind my Shar. don't have much time. Give me the essentials. Just as the lore told us. You outsiders are always in a hurry. Fine then. Shar is a magical prodigy and has abducted Duel and enslaved some of the villagers. He also summoned the snake spawn by means of an ancient ritual that was meant to protect us from invaders. What he wants to do is to invoke the Trial of Brothers. A Hibernian tradition where two noble brothers fight each other for the right of succession. Shar has always been peculiar and moody, but this? I never saw it coming. You see where this is going. You need to bring him to reason. How am I supposed to do that? I can't take on his entire army by myself. I know that. So the first step should be to free at least some of our people he has taken prisoner. After that is done, we can discuss further steps. How am I supposed to make him see reason? If only I knew. Talk to him, convince him, make him realize what he has done. Just try not to hurt him, will you? But as I said, first of all, our people need to be freed. As long as the village is defenseless, we can't provide you with the means to take down his camp. I'll be here if you need anything. Now good luck, Tahar. And for what it's worth, sorry for burdening you with this.